This video is a follow-up to the other two virtual Bitmoji classroom videos that I posted. And so I want to teach you today how to take this beautiful classroom scene with all its clickable links and upload it to a page in Canvas so that that way your kids can go directly to Canvas and just click around on these links and they'll get a tour of your virtual classroom. If this is something you're interested in, definitely stay around because I'm about to show you how to do that right now. So you'll see that I included some audio. I'll play that for you. It's eight seconds. A virtual classroom. Anything that has a yellow border is clickable. So feel free to click around and explore. And so everything that you see with the yellow border, like I said, it's clickable. And so here I have linked um, some multiplication songs to help them remember their facts. We have some class rules, um, the university, and then read alouds. And so you can feel free to insert anything that you want to insert that is pertinent to your specific classroom. But before we move on to Canvas, I do want to show you briefly how it is that I'm going to link something. So you see here I have Flipgrid, Seesaw, and Epic. These are three apps we use in my class daily. And so for um, Flipgrid, I just went to my grid and then I clicked share and it brought me here. So now I'm going to copy my link, make sure that Flipgrid is selected, link, and then I paste in that link and apply. And so now you see this is linked. So now when my kids hover over, they'll be able to click it. So to get this beautiful image uploaded into Canvas, this is where you really want to pay attention. You are going to go to File, Publish to the Web. So now, if you have multiple slides in your slideshow, this might matter a little more. But for me, I don't have slides. I have one slide. And so I'm just going to put it for every minute because what's it going to change to? Nothing. So then I'm going to go and publish these slides. Are you sure you want to publish this selection? Yes, I'm sure. And now I'm going to go to the code here so that I can embed it into Canvas. So I'm going to control C to copy all of this, right? Now I'm going to Canvas. I'm in my sandbox. Check out the video for how to create a sandbox if you haven't created one yet. I'm going to go to pages because I want to put this in a new page and let me add a page. And so I'm going to title this, um, no, I want to create a new page. Um, I'm going to title this, um, back. And then in here, I'm going to click these three dots and it's going to give me another little menu. And I'm going to insert right here. It says upload record media. And in this section, you see how I have the embedded code? Same thing, embed, embed. Click, paste, and submit. Now you'll see my virtual classroom, but we're not done yet. You must, 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 must Come down to the bottom and then press save and publish. And so after it's published, now you will see a classroom with all of these clickable links. And so your students, what you can do is go into um, student view so that that way you can see exactly what it looks like for the students, which this is what it'll look like. But now whenever they go to their page, the welcome back page, they're going to see this with its clickable links. All of these things are here for them. And so let me click on this as well, just to give you a quick example that goes to the UNC Charlotte homepage. This one goes to a read aloud that's not loading right now. And so that just gives you a quick example. So I hope that this helps you, this quick little mini, mini tutorial. And so if you like this, if it helped you, please click like, share it, and then don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you never miss another tutorial.